Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own website completely from scratch. Um, I decided to do this video because I felt like a lot of people nowadays were making their own pre-made or like getting pre-made websites from offline. And I know I was at one point and the thing about that is it's, it's not really unique. It's it's not really your website. I mean, anyone can make it, and anyone can basically download it. So, I mean, it's not really unique. It doesn't say, it doesn't write your name on it. I mean, it doesn't have you written into it, you know? So, that's kind of what I wanted to teach you guys how to do, and basically make it so you transfer over to making your own templates instead of downloading them off offline. Um, this is going to range from a around a six-part video tutorial, uh, basically creating the template, uh, editing it in, in Dreamweaver, and then from there hosting it onto a like a online to for everyone can, to see so right, the programs that you'll need are um, Adobe Photoshop and if you don't have Adobe Photoshop the alternative can be paint or right, MS paint you can do that by going to start uh, run and MS paint or you can I think you can try to use GIMP but I don't I'm not really a GIMP user so if you don't have Adobe Photoshop and you really want to use Adobe Photoshop you can get the uh, you can get a trial like a 30-day trial off adobe.com I'll put the link in the description for actually all the Adobe products um, because you're also going to need Adobe Fireworks and if you don't have Adobe Fireworks um, and you have Adobe Photoshop you should be okay but I would definitely recommend having Adobe or one or the other uh, but definitely recommend having Adobe Fireworks um, and the last program is Adobe Dreamweaver. That's the main program that we're going to be using. Uh, we also you're also going to need internet connection and your brain and one ounce of creativity. Okay, so to get started, we want to actually make our directory for wherever where our website's going to be, and that's really easy. We're just going to make a new folder. So we're going to right click on our desktop, new folder, and we'll call this uh, website. And this is basically the whole directory of our website, um, and everything that we that we work on for our website is going to be in this folder. Okay, and if it's not, make sure you move it into this folder, um, or basically you want to have everything in here before you host it onto your website. So that's okay. And now we're actually going to open up Adobe Photoshop. Uh, we're going to go to File, New. And we're just going to call this Untitled 1, it does not matter. Actually, we'll call it Index, just for fun. And for the width, I like to set it out around 1,000 and the height 1,000. And you're probably thinking that's like around a square, but it actually isn't. Um, it seems to be just right for me. I use it a lot. I actually use 1,100 on my website now. Um, but it doesn't really matter. A, a thousand's a little skinny, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it. And for the background contents, I'm going to actually set it to white instead of transparent. Um, I'm going to actually go back. I'm going to go over that a little bit after I'm done with this. Um, and here we go. So here's the, basically the gist of what I'm going to be doing. I also don't want you guys like copying what I'm doing. The reason why being is it's basically the same thing as downloading a pre-made a pre template because you're basically copying what I'm doing and you're basically get, copying my idea. So I want you, if you're going to copy it, I want you to kind of remix it and try to make it your own um, or come up with new ideas, come up with new te uh, variations on how to do it. Um, so this is basically the gist of how I'm going to make it. Um, around this much is going to be the banner. This much is going to be the navigation and the rest is content. And that's how I've been doing my websites for a while now. Um, so I'm going to actually start with the content. And the content I use kind of like a rounded a rounded area. So I'm going to use the shape tool and rounded rectangle tool, which is the second one. And I'm going to set the radius to around 40. And create it just like that. Make sure that the uh, rounded edges on the bottom aren't on the template, and I'll go into that later. There we go. And for the navigation bar, I'm actually going to make it out of the contents of the content area. So to do that, what I'm going to do is actually double click on the um, the shape layer. The shape la ah, I'm sorry, the shape layer, and go to the drop shadow. Check that. As you see, I had it originally set to blue, and I actually want to change that to gray. The reason why being is I want to have it mainly for the uh, color scheme, and I want to turn off the noise 
So it's just like that. I'm going to bring down the size as well. So just around there. And uh, go around that. Okay. And if I actually hit Z on the keyboard and hit actual pixels, you're going to see what it will look like when it's all done. So I'm going to actually go back to that and change the distance. Okay. Now what we're going to do is make the banner. The banner is um, pretty easy to use. I use custom text and you can find custom text pretty much anywhere. Um, I definitely recommend using Defont. Defont's a really good website. Defont.com. Um, really cool place to get a website or get text from. And I'm pretty sure I have a tutorial on how to add fonts into um, uh, Windows. And I had that on effects and tutorials, so you can go check that out. Anyway, so I'm going to use Urban Jungle for my main text for Sports Film 100. So I'm grabbing the text tool and selecting, making that a little bigger on 60, and typing that out. I don't want this to be the same color as the content area. I don't want them to get confused, so I'm going to change that to a little darker color. Maybe a little brighter. Oops. Okay. Uh, God, I really want it maybe a little darker. Okay, that's that's better. Um, and now I'm gonna make the slogan. I'm gonna make, put that in a different font. I'll use ethnocentric. This is the main font that I. Ooh, crap. Yeah, make sure that you are on a different text layer. If you're on the same one, it'll change for you. So make sure you're on a different one. I'll change it to ethnocentric, and ethnocentric is the one that I actually use on my website now. I'll, of course, because it's a slogan, I'll make it a little smaller and put Okay, I'm going to put that to the side, and because I, I really don't want people to focus on the slogan too much, I kind of want them to focus on the main title and the content, so I want to change the opacity down to around 40, 40, maybe 35, and that looks pretty good, bring that up just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to actually add the text. If this is optional, if you don't want to add the text, you don't have to. Um, and the, here's the reason being: a lot of times you're going to make mistakes, and if you don't want a certain uh, like navigation bar, you can't really change it. You kind of have to redo the whole template, and that's a real pain. So if you don't want to add the text now, you don't have to. And you can. There's ways to do it in Dreamweaver, so it's completely your choice. You can just skip this step, but I'm going to do it just for fun. For those who want to, so home, and I'm gonna actually, oh, I'll leave it as this text. I usually, now I'm gonna actually change the text, but for right now I'm just gonna write it out. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna make this videos. Okay, so the next step is actually, and the next step and the last step for creating our template, in this case, in my case, I'm actually going to make the uh, links like YouTube links and you know, LinkedIn links and stuff like that. But I'm actually going to use thumbnails, and I've been using those for a while as well, and a lot of people do that. Um, thumbnails are really well, are like great for visual for visual people who can't really see well. So we'll do that right now. So I actually got like a packet off, like a, not really a packet, like a pack off of Google. If you type in like uh, YouTube logo PNG, PNG is like, a great file for like anything that you want to blend in and um, if you use that you can find one that fits your website um, they really they usually have some really cool ones and there's some websites where there's like really cool like um, logos so I'm actually just gonna go to file open and find them 
and they're really big right now and if I had selected this ooh crap this whole thing and put it into the uh, the template there we go okay it'd be really really big and we don't want that so what we want to do is shrink it down a little bit so we're gonna go to image image size and change it to around 100 and I did this uh, changing both of them to my leisure by unchecking constraint proportions from there I'm just gonna select the whole thing just like before and paste it in if you can't see it you might have to adjust the layer like just move it up so it's in front make that 200 Ah, damn, I keep on going to that. I'm leading that one. <laughs> I keep on going back to it. Alright, and I'm also... <laughs> I might just say random shit, so just forgive me again. Alright, and these are a little too spread apart, so I'm going to bring these in. Uh, and this is also a cool little trick. If you select all the layers, and I've done this before, I did this earlier, um, you can actually move them all together. And you can also do that with the menu bar, or the navigation bar, whatever. I don't really give a shit. Um, move that over just a little more. Alright guys, so this is the, our final template, and our next step is slicing it in Adobe Fireworks, and, and Adobe Photoshop if you want to. Um, that'll be in part two, so stay tuned for that. And... See ya.